We want to take the time to tell you about what to expect when you choose to roll up your sleeve to be vaccinated. The COVID-19 vaccine is considered to be both safe and effective and has been approved under an emergency use authorization by the FDA and the CDC's Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices. We want to make sure that you speak to your provider for the following. If you have an immune system that is compromised because of a medical condition or because you take medications, please take this opportunity to discuss with your healthcare provider the risks and benefits of getting vaccinated. In most cases, people like you will not mount as great of an immune response to the vaccine, but there is no reason you should not elect to be vaccinated. So remember, speak to your provider. If you are pregnant or breastfeeding, speak to your provider about your risk of COVID-19 and the potential benefit of being vaccinated. Although pregnant persons weren't included in the trials, we know that pregnant persons are at risk for complications of COVID-19 and make up a significant number of our healthcare providers and workers and essential workers. If you have a history of severe allergies to vaccines or the ingredients or components of this vaccine, please make sure we know about it and discuss with your provider before you schedule an appointment. We are prepared to attend to any person with an unexpected reaction. If you decide to be vaccinated, please make sure you schedule for both the first and second shot. Both shots are needed to get the full effect of the vaccine and the shots are three to four weeks apart. On the day of your vaccine, make sure you don't have any symptoms of COVID-19. If you have symptoms, you should wait to be vaccinated until after you recover. This is to make sure your body is ready to respond to a vaccine and to protect our vaccinators and other individuals. Like all vaccines and injections, there are side effects that you should anticipate. The injection site may become sore or red, or you may feel a little tired or achy and rarely have a fever. These are signs that your immune system is working and will go away in one to two days. It's okay to take an acetaminophen or a pain reducer if you are feeling a little crummy. Please make sure you have scheduled your shots knowing that you might not feel 100% the next day. We will have a number for you to call if the side effects are severe, and if you have a high fever, you should be assessed by a healthcare provider. If you have itchy bumps on the skin, swelling of your face, or an allergic reaction, like difficulty breathing or anaphylaxis, please seek immediate medical attention. Thank you for deciding to roll up your sleeve and don't forget to hold on to your vaccination card. In fact, if you can, take a picture of it on your phone and remember to schedule your second shot. It's going to take time, months in fact, for us to vaccinate our entire community. So don't forget to keep doing those things you have been doing. Wash your hands, wear your mask, and wash your distance.